Hello again, everyone. This is Rocket Rick J18, and today I'm going to talk to you about something not related to baseball. Um, I have two little miniature dachshunds. One is a a long-haired uh, dachshund, and the other is a uh, short-haired red-headed dachshund <laughs> and they're both awful cute they're both four years old and um, they they really are are just wonderful dogs anyway i thought to myself one day i'll bet you there are uh non-sports cards that have uh, pictures of dachshunds on them. And uh, so I did a little looking on the internet and lo and behold, uh, there's a ton of them, <laughs> it turns out. And other dogs do, but but I, I like the dachshunds uh, for obvious reasons. So their names are uh, Betty and Veronica. <laughs> uh, no, no secret as to where that those names came from. Anyway, uh, so the first uh, cards that I got were uh, three cards uh, from the 2019 Allen and Ginter set. So let's take a look at those. They're all the same. And there are uh, a number of these cards with other dogs. This one happens to be uh, card number eight. Let's zoom in a little bit uh, if we can. Now, neither one of my dogs looks like the. This is kind of a kind of a black and uh, cream-colored, short-haired dachshund. Dachshunds come in in uh, sort of two recognized size uh, categories, uh, and three recognized uh, coats. And then uh, within those, there are multi, multiple colored. So, that, uh, so the two that I have are the sh miniature short-haired red dachshund and the miniature long-haired uh, brown and cream uh, colored dachshund. And uh, so these, these are the Allen and Ginter 2019 cards. The next card is from the Taifu series of 20 cards. And this is card number nine, obviously hand cut from a box of some sort or another. The back is plain. And uh, this is uh, from 
the year 1955. Well, I think I didn't mention that the three different coats are of long, short, and wire-haired. And there's a wire-haired uh, dachshund, miniature dachshund, that lives uh, just down the street from us. And it's a, he, she's a very uh, unusual-looking dog. And the next uh, card that I have <clears throat> is from uh, a transfer series of 50 from paintings by Arthur Wardle. And this is a, um, is a decal. So you, the, the old fashioned kind that you, had to soak in water and then it would come off the paper and then you'd, you'd take the decal and uh, press it on whatever you had and try to try to do it without getting any wrinkles in it um, and this is uh, this card is from, from players cigarettes and uh, goes back to 1931 and as, as you can see this is a this is a uh, short hair or, or smooth coat uh, black and brown uh, colors mostly black And this next card is also from a Allen and Ginter set, but I th think it's much earlier. Uh, let me just uh, see what it says here. 2012. The next cards that I'm going to show you, there are, there are six of them, and they are from a set called Dogs of Yesteryear, second series, and you can see the different types of coats. These are all long-haired. So we've seen the smooth haired and these are different uh, champion dogs from years ago. Not, not too many years ago though that they're, they're from the United Kingdom. And uh, uh, in the 1990s, pretty dogs. And here's the back. Now here's a player's cigarette card. And I think it looks an awful lot like this one. 
that's that's the decal and that's the card itself but the back of the player's cigarette card is uh, also from 1931 it's card number 10 of course players cigarettes uh, very well-known brand in England And the next one is a is short-haired dachshund and it's from the John Sinclair limited brand of uh, cigarettes uh, and the card says it's uh, from a place called Newcastle upon Tyne up in the, the uh, North Northumberland uh, County of uh, England, up near the Scottish border, and it's from 1916, and it's card number 18, and this is the back back side. It's from a set of 50 cards. Next is card number 38 from of 60. And it is from the Millbank uh, cigarettes and also of 1916. Good year for dachshunds. This is a, I think it's a very pretty card. Very pretty set. Then we have uh, a related company, uh, Imperials uh, Tobacco, which uh, owns or owned uh, player cigarettes. This card is from 1924. And the back looks like, like this. Again, another English card printed in England. Imperial Tobacco, I think, is actually a Canadian card a, a Canadian company so that's the uh, that's the dachshunds and I also have a small collection of uh, flags from Ireland and so this this one is from a, a Danish company uh, dandy gum and uh, they, they, these came out in 1965 and this is card number 96 out of 116 and the back looks like this it has uh, information about Ireland of course in in 19 uh, 1965, uh, Ireland uh, was a uh, an independent republic, is an independent republic still, and it just has a little bit of information about them, about it, about the country.
This next card is from a company called Flag Gum. And it's the, uh, actually the name of the company, the series is called Flag Gum. The, the name of the company is Baltimore Chewing Gum Company from Baltimore, Maryland. And uh, this is card number 23 of 50. And it comes from the 1930s. And again, uh, if you know your Irish history, you, you know that the Irish Civil War um, took place in uh, 1921, 1922. Um, just prior to the Irish Civil War, uh, the Republic of Ireland was, was formed out of the 26th of the 32 counties. The remaining six remain and remain until this day a part of the United Kingdom. Uh, those who are of unionist uh, ideology would call it uh, Northern Ireland or Ulster. Those who are of Republican ideology would call it the Six Counties or North, the North of Ireland, uh, with the idea that Ireland is and should be one nation. Uh, but that's not the way it is, sadly, today. If you saw the movie uh, Michael Collins with Liam Neeson, uh, you, you got a pretty good course on uh, this time period. Good movie. And well done. And the next card has a bit of a history about it also. You'll see that it uh, says uh, Ireland and League of Nations. And this card came out in 1934. The League of Nations, as, as you might recall, uh, was a product of uh, the end of the First World War. Uh, it was uh, Woodrow Wilson's great uh, cause to, to form a, an independent uh, group to which the various nations of the world could belong. Unfortunately, uh, he wasn't able to convince the Congress, that uh, the U.S. Congress, that it was a good idea, and they never they never joined the League of Nations, which pretty much the U.S. never joined the League of Nations, which pretty much condemned it to failure. But it, it lasted for a while and uh, uh, then, you know, sort of dissolved uh, in the uh, growing threat of uh, fascism around the globe, culminating in the Second World War. So this card is... Uh, from that series. It's uh, from the Novelty Gum Company of Chicago, Illinois. And this is uh, uh, card number 28 from a series of 50. It has a little information about Ireland on the back of it. And the next card is uh, from the 1970 top set of Flags of the World. Uh, this is card number 36 from that set, 1970. It's in a uh, 
an older SGC holder, graded uh, 8. The back says there were 77 flags in this set, and you would uh, wet the uh, back, you punch it out, the, the card, uh, the flag, uh, wet the back, and then uh, press it onto any surface for 10 seconds, and presumably it would stick for a little while. These cards were printed in Canada, and so there's uh, the same instructions in French, which is kind of cool. <laughs> And then the last one is a is a silk flag. And uh, it is uh, from a uh, company in New Jersey. Let's see if I can. Get any? I think I got some information about this. I don't have much information about it, sadly. Uh, the bottom has a little bit. Uh, It's factory number seven, fifth district of New Jersey. I get my magnifying glass out to see that. And you can see that it's it's a little frayed, but it's not in bad shape. And it's a larger card uh, as compared with, say, the uh, the smaller flag that we looked at earlier. You can see the size difference. And, you have something to compare it with. So those are uh, my non-sports card collections. Uh, I have a few others. I've got some, uh, I think in an earlier video, you saw some uh, cards of uh, various uh, Native American tribes and key, key uh, figures and in those uh, tribes. So that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I kind of like these. Uh, uh, and it's, uh, uh, as I think Orlando noted in, in his video, uh, and John uh, 3D80's kid, um, they're, they're considerably cheaper than baseball cards. <laughs> so you can... You can buy them when you're not uh, completely flush with funds. So th this is Rocket Rick J18 wishing all your collecting dreams come true. <laughs>